how are you doing? I hope that you guys are doing great in today's video. I will be showing you what I took to Disneyland, how our experience was, what we did and how things were post during, not post because the pandemic is still, you know, it still exists. But anyways, I'm going to tell you guys exactly what I took, what made things better and how things were and my overall opinion. So the first thing I'm going to show you guys is I still do have a four year old that is not potty trained. She refuses to learn. So we're not going to talk about that right now. Um, so that means I have to carry wipes and diapers for sure. Um, with that said, I did take my large backpack, but I ended up realizing that no, I don't need the large backpack. So I swapped my stuff into the smaller backpack. The other backpack is the same as this, just bigger, okay? This is a Miss Fong backpack, diaper bag, purse. You could use it. If you don't have children, you can still use it. This is an amazing quality brand. So this is a bag that I took. It does have straps. Again, I took the large one, but it's the same thing. It's just in a smaller size, okay? So just picture a really large backpack with the same things in here. So what I took was some very key things that came in clutch for me when I had my pass in 2019. So the first thing I'm gonna show you guys is the diaper rash ointment. I take this because you're walking aloud, you can get pink, <laughs> and you guys know what I mean by pink in your inner thighs. The child can get rash from walking, uh, you know, diaper changes and stuff. So I do take this. Okay, if you have children, and even if you don't have children, you plan on wearing shorts, you have a male with you, this will come in clutch, okay? You will get pink from all the walking. You're walking all day, so definitely something to consider taking. Another thing that I took was this Dr. Bronner's 18-in-1 hemp citrus scented castile soap i have talked about this in my previous videos this comes in clutch for everything wipe down tables wipe down um your hands anything you need to do you don't find soap in the bathroom you got this you have a spill you have a stain on your shirt you want to clean it this comes in handy i've talked about it before it is concentrated so a little bit goes a very long way you don't need a lot that was the other thing i took um, I did take some gum. I didn't use it, but I did take it. Um, you want to refresh your mouth, especially if you're having to wear a mask all day. It's definitely something good to think uh, about taking. The next thing I take is this little roll of uh, diaper bags to throw away. It's actually the poopy bags for the dogs, but I use them for my daughter. Same thing, same size, same product, same item. Um, these come in clutch again just in case you gather some trash and there's not a trash can nearby anytime anywhere um, in the park which I doubt but you might have to use this you might not still something that comes in clutch I also take deodorant and you guys are probably gonna be like what <laughs> deodorant you sweat you sweat you get wet okay I'm really not a sweaty person but I really love that Native has a small size of this. And if you ever are in the park and you get wet or you're, you know, you're moist, all you gotta do is get some wipes, wipe yourself, clean yourself, and reapply your deodorant. This by far goes a very long way for me. I always carry deodorant with myself because you never know. And that is everything that I carry in this front little pocket, okay? All those little items fit and there's still more space for that. Uh, for anything else in here on these side pockets right here that you guys see I will carry a feminine pad just in case you never know and I do carry a little bag like this that has rubber bands for myself because sometimes my rubber bands will bust or sometimes I'll go with like braids and the rest of my hair back and I get hot and I don't like it so on the other side we have the Super Goop Invincible Setting Powder. It's 100% mineral sweat resistant sunscreen. Um, I have this one as well by Mineral Fusion. This is like a makeup brand. Well, they, they both are. Um, but this was recently recommended to us by a friend uh, that I'll talk to you guys about a little bit more later. 
This stuff right here is magic. I applied it on my husband, no burn at all. We didn't apply it on the back part of his neck and his head and he was red back there and I was like, oh my God. Well, at least we know we compared where he applied it and where he didn't apply it and this thing covered completely, shield. So these two go on the side of my backpack in this little zippy, okay? These little backpacks have a ton of storage and it's the reason why I like them because there's there's so many pockets. Um, this is something that I just added yesterday, again, because I'm carrying the whole sunblock thing, but I also added this Hello Bello sunblock. This is 20% zinc oxide. If you want a sunblock that's going to help you, it has to be a high percentage of zinc oxide. This one has 20%. Looks like this. Uh, I believe you can find this at Walmart as well. It's a small little tube, 20% zinc oxide, got you covered. It's the same amount that the powder has. Uh, the powder, a lot of people, the ones that I just showed you, a lot of people are a little bit hesitant because they're probably like, how sure am I that this is going to work? Um, it works, 100% works. You will not get burned, you will not get a tan. Your skin will not Your skin will not burn. This powder right here, all you gotta do is open it up, go like this and swoosh it around anywhere, any place that you want it, um, uh, where the sun is going to hit and you will not get burned, okay? On the other side of this pocket, again, remember, keep in mind, I was using the bigger bag. I had a large water bottle for Valentina and then in the inside i carried wipes like this which are uh, disinfecting hypoallergenic just in case i needed to wipe down anything uh, as far as tables i took with myself she really doesn't change diapers a lot so i did take four diapers i did take some wipes again a good amount um, I did take my medication pouch, which is just this and again the reason why I switch it is because like I said I carried all this in the larger bag <laughs> And after I was just like I have so much space. I didn't need to bring everything I brought um, The next thing I brought in here was an extra pair of shorts So as you guys know, we had her leave really early. So I did have to carry her shorts sweater and a beanie Okay, so that's another thing that I took a sweater some shorts because she was wearing pants in the morning because it was really cold when we woke up. We were at Disneyland at 6.15 in the morning. So I switched her out later to some shorts. She was a lot fresher and she was a lot better. Another thing I also took was some sanitizer. Um, I clipped another new one onto here, but I did have another one on another purse that I'll show you. This purse strictly stayed under Valentina's car. I did take Valentina's car. She's still four years old. She did take a nap throughout the day. So yes, the car does come in clutch. Definitely, if your kid still fits in it, take it as long as they fit in it because they will want to take a nap. They will want to rest. And when you don't have a car, they don't get to rest. I did take a hat for myself. So I took this one that I made for myself. Uh, this is what I wore the entire day. And then probably towards two o'clock in the afternoon, I ended up looking for one of these huge fans. Yes, it is big, but believe me, it is so worth it. It's big, but it's so worth it because you can blow yourself a good amount of air. I don't mind being in the sun or I don't mind wherever I'm at if it's warm as long as I got one of these. And this guy right here was only $10 with our discount. It was like eight bucks. Um, Valentina did take a hat as well. I did have like a little fisherman hat on her. And this is the little bucket hat that I got for Valentina that she did use throughout the day. In the morning, she did use a sweater because again, it was kind of cold. Um, we did leave really, really early, so um, we did need to take something to keep ourselves warm in the meantime. So the next bag that I took was this one right here. I purchased this one in Burlington. This is uh, the brand, it says Go Sack. So I did clip another thing of sanitizer right here. And in this bag, I really didn't have much, but what was more important to me, um, I put it on like this and all I had in here was my cell phone, my phone chargers, my GoPro, and my Canon G7X. That's all that was in here, nothing else. I didn't carry anything else. And that was, again, just on me and with me because as I got on the rides, I kept taking and alternating between one camera and another. 
and that's what this bag came in clutch for okay and in this bag i took three bags <laughs> i'm telling you you gotta take a gang of stuff especially because i'll tell you guys in a second so i bought this bag at home goods okay this is a lunch bag but it has the already inverted like gel pack in here so all you gotta do is freeze this like this freeze it and in the morning I throw all my stuff in there. I took two sandwiches, a ham and turkey sandwich. No, uh, turkey and cheese sandwich. I took pretzels. I took peanuts. I took cashews, gummy bears, chocolates, Capri Suns, um, Twinkies. And I know it sounds like a lot, but guys, you're walking all day. You will get hungry. You will need to keep chewing on something uh, in between your eats. Uh, so... This came in clutch because like I said, it already has the inverted jelly packs in there. So I didn't have to add additional weight. Although it is a little bit heavy, it wasn't that bad. It maintained my food cold for a good amount of time. Um, it's very small. And again, I bought this at Home Goods. And yeah, that's basically everything I took. Um, so yeah, definitely um, best of luck to you guys. We're going again July 13, wishes luck. Things are going to be different. There's going to be more rides open. And I am ready to have more fun and enjoy my day at Disneyland. So thank you guys for watching. I hope to see you guys soon. And if you guys have any questions or comments, please leave them in the description down below. Okay, so thank you all so much for watching. I will see you guys on the next one. Bye!